Hello my dears, welcome to An Abundance Books. My name is Julia and today we're going to be talking about my 2023 goals. Keep in mind I'm filming this before reacting to my 2022 goals, so maybe some of those should have carried over, but I made the list. I ended up with 10, so we're not doing any more than that. First we'll talk about some book stuff and then we'll talk about some more like channel stuff. So the first goal every year of course is your Goodreads goal. I'm setting this to 50. Last three years I've read over 100 books which is my true goal but I also realize that that's a ridiculous number of books to read and 50 is still a ridiculous number but I would be sad if I read fewer than 50 basically. Usually in like September I change my goal anyway but right now it's up to 50. Goal number two is a repeat from last year. I want to do all of the buzzwords. I think I actually didn't complete it last year. There were a couple near the end. I was just kind of losing steam but I do enjoy it for focusing my reading a little bit. My third goal is that I want to complete the Indigo top 10 list. Last year I did the Read Harder challenge that was 24 and that was a bit too much. So 10 seemed like a much more reasonable number and I've already accidentally read three of them without knowing that they were on the list. I read Babel by R.F. Kuang, Book Lovers by Emily Henry, and We Spread by Ian Reid. And actually I already have their number one book of the year, Our Missing Hearts by Celeste Ng, and I got a, a ways into it, oh, 60 pages in, and I really don't like it. But I am working on acquiring all the books. Most of them have audiobooks too so that I can kind of power through, but I want to have like a general thesis about what I think the Indigo Top 10 is trying to do, what the diversity there looks like, so yeah I'm excited about that one. Goal number four is to make series progress. This is generally not really a goal for me but there are a couple of series that I'm on the brink of finishing so I want to do that. I want to read Crooked Kingdom to finish off the Six of Crows duology and I read this like probably six months ago so I need to do it before my memory goes. That's what most of these are. I also want to finish the first Mistborn trilogy so there's two books left there, Well of Ascension and Hero of Ages. And I also want to finish the first three books in The Expanse. I read the first two so the last one is Abaddon's Gate I think. So that'll just be really nice to finish those up if I'm still feeling enthusiastic. The Scythe series I only have the last book to read, The Toll, and I also want to make progress in the Shades of Magic series because I've only read the first one but I didn't read that last year so my memory might be bad. For goal number five um, I somehow got talked into buying the Sanderson Kickstarter so I'm getting the boxes every month. I got the whole shebang and so there are four books coming out for that. Don't know what they are, don't know what world they are. Unless they spoil something that I still have to read then I want to read all of them. And then goal number six is to reread. I know I've made this goal in the past and it just my brain doesn't like it um, but actually currently right this very moment I am rereading a book and it's going really well and it's really got me excited to reread a couple things. Specifically the one that I absolutely have to is Daisy Jones and the Six because the TV show comes out in March and that's gonna be my whole personality so very exciting. Goal number seven is kind of one that I just came up with on the fly but I'm actually really excited about it and it is to expand my vocabulary or like keep track of it. This was inspired when a friend and I were doing a buddy read and we were like emailing each other back and forth every chapter that we finished and somehow it just started that um, we would see a word and say hey I learned a new word and that was fun for me as a language nerd so I thought I should like formalize it. It also gives me an excuse to buy a new notebook. So yeah I just want to write down all of the new words that I encounter in books and make a concerted effort to commit them to memory and I don't know this is fun and nerdy for me. <laughs> and then maybe in 2024 I'll make one of those like word a day calendars and then I'll sell it. Brilliant. And then 8 through 10 are channel goals. So generally what I want to be doing more with this channel is posting individual reviews. That's how I ended up finding booktube. That's where I think we can really have the biggest discussions because the big thing is people don't want to give spoilers in their videos which I totally understand and agree with for the most part but the most fun thing about reading a book is being able to talk about the spoilers with your friends. Let's talk about my favorite book of last year, Comfort Me With Apples. This is something that can only be talked about with spoilers so it 
feels weird. Like I have a dedicated video for this and I really enjoyed that and I feel like you can get a better sense of me. Thinking of other examples, like I read a lot of thrillers and you only think of the endings, like Lock Every Door. Think of the ending of Lock Every Door. Do you remember any other part of that book or is it just the ending? Like exactly. That's just more of what I'm interested in and passionate about and lets me do more analysis on the books that will require spoilers but obviously that'll all be very clearly outlined and I hope that it goes well. <laughs> I also want to be able to do more secret vlogs that take a long time so this and the next goal kind of dovetail together um, but I, I want to do bigger projects with lots of books and not really feel the time constraint and be able to keep some of that to myself. I know I can be a loud mouth sometimes. <laughs> Which then leads into goal number 10. I'm going to be doing my TBRs every month, year of readathons. There will be a video for all of those, but I'm not going to be doing wrap-ups. I'm probably going to end up doing like quarterly wrap-ups, talking about all the books that I hadn't previously talked about, and presumably there'll be quite a few individual reviews up too, so you'll still get my full thoughts on everything. It, I just want to be more like vlog focused which means videos might take longer because I wasn't very consistent at the end of last year and I think that like consistency is important but I think more of the problem was I wasn't passionate about what I was doing so if we can switch that a little bit I'm hoping consistency will just naturally come with it. Okay those are the goals there's no must read this year other than finishing three series I guess other than the indigo books so they're all dictated for me huh but yeah those are my goals Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you stick around to see me succeed or fail at all of these and I will see you very soon.